Urban car buyers can be a fickle crowd, demanding a vehicle that has style, technology, efficiency, and space. Thankfully, the new crop of subcompact vehicles have evolved to meet that seemingly conflicting criteria. One such example is quite appropriately named after a place it suits rather well, the Honda City. Join us as we take a ride in a small car with big value. Though first conceived in 1981, Filipinos got their first taste of the Honda City in 1996. The vehicle was offered as a smaller alternative to the Civic, with similar qualities in a more compact package. It's come a long way from its sparse origins, but continues to remain a favorite in the subcompact B-segment, city car or small family car category. It shouldn't come as a surprise, because a 6th generation city packs style, tech, flexibility, and efficiency. The city makes quite an impression, with tapered headlights and a tall grille, similar to the CRV. It balances it out with race car styling in the lower valance and grooved hood. Towards the side, a rounded front fender nods to the stylish cars of the 1930s. This is met with a character line that starts at the door, leading to the tail lights. Towards the rear, that character line is pinched just slightly by the rear fender. It meets with the broad tail lights shaped like tail fins of an arrow. They're tied together by a chrome plate garnish. A shark's fin antenna continues the sporty touch. On the lower corners, reflectors make it visible at night. Under the hood is a 1.5 liter IV tech that produces 120 PS and 145 Newton meters of torque, the highest in its class. This is paired with a continuously variable transmission that drives the front wheels. It is kept aloft by McPherson's struts in front and an H-shaped torsion beam with stabilizers in the rear. Bringing the car to a stop is a set of disc brakes in front and drum brakes in the rear. All the while, keeping contact with the ground are 185-55 series tires shod on 16-inch wheels. From the outside, we move to the inside to have a glimpse. The cabin features an asymmetric interior with a mix of black, silver accents, and piano gloss. The driver's side features gauges ringed in blue LED lights. They encircle the tachometer, speedo, and multi-info display. Hovering over the speedo are echo coaching lamps, which illuminate from white to green to coax you into driving more efficiently. Closer to the driver is a three-spoke wheel with remote stereo and display controls. To the left is the Econ button, which instantly makes the engine and transmission operate more efficiently. The bright red button on the right is the Start button, which also has accessory and on functions. The entertainment system sits on a piano gloss collar stretching out from the driver's console. It starts out as a flush black, but soon illuminates both the screen and buttons as they are needed. Below it is the climate control system with the same flush soft touch buttons as the entertainment system. Behind, the city features a comfortable bench with a cubby hole and two more power outlets for charging devices. Finally, one needn't worry about safety as the city comes equipped with seat belt reminders, driver and passenger airbags, ABS, EBD, and brake assist. The top of the line VX Plus variant even comes with side airbags, emergency stop signals, hill start assist, and vehicle stability control. With its unique blend of power, efficiency, technology, and also safety, it's easy to see why the city continues to remain a favorite in this class. Few other cars offer features you'd typically expect in more expensive cars, yet in a way that is hardly intimidating and very classy. The sophisticated Honda City certainly lives up to its namesake. That rounds up our review of the new Honda City VX Navi, a small car with big value.